Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Ramesh Babu Vaishali and Nurguli Salimova. This is a game from the World Chess Championship Candidates Tournament Women's Section 2024. Vaishali had white pieces and she started with e4. Salimova played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to f6. The Russian defense. Knight takes on e5. d6. Knight to f3. Knight takes on e4. White to move. d4 is the most played move in this position. Vaishali played the trendy. Knight to c3. Knight takes knight. D takes on c3. Bishop to e7. Bishop to e3. Castling queen to d2. Very popular line. White wants to castle queen side. Knight to d7. Castling queen side. Knight to f6. White to move. Bishop to d3. And h3 are the most popular moves. Vashali played the bishop to d4. Bishop to d7, white to move. Perhaps some players with the white pieces in this position would consider developing the light squared bishop. Perhaps to d3. Vaishali played h4, intending knight to g5. So now later. Rook to e8, knight to g5, h6, kicking the knight back. What is the best square for the knight? Is it f3? Vaishali played bishop to d3. Very cool move. Knight to g4. Let's take it back. If h takes on g5, one line goes like this. Pawn takes knight. And if now knight moves to g4, then rook to h7. And the black pieces are ready for a new game back to our game. So in this position Salimova played knight to g4. White to move. Are you ready to see the move? Vaishali sacrificed the knight on f7. Kaboom! King takes knight. Bishop to c4 check. King to f8. Queen to d3 on the way to h7. Bishop to g5 check. If something like bishop to f6, then queen to h7 is unpleasant. So we have bishop to g5 check, king to b1. Well, uh, taking the bishop is also okay, but black would have some more counterplay. Back to our game. In this position of the check, we have king to b1, knight to e5. Bishop takes on e5, bishop to f6, white to move. Trading bishops looks like a natural move, doesn't it? Instead, Vaishali played bishop takes on d6. Kaboom! Brilliant stuff. c takes on d6, queen takes pawn check, queen to e7. Queen takes bishop, queen takes queen, rook takes on d7, black to move, rook to e4. If something like rook from a to d8, then check, and after king to g8, discover check. Back to our game, we have attacking the bishop, bishop to d5, attacking the attacker, rook to e2, rook to f7, check. King to e8, rook takes on b7, rook to d8, attacking the bishop, white to move, bishop to c4 was played, c4 is also a good move for white, bishop to c4 was played, rook from e to d8, threatening checkmate in 2, rook to e1, check, king to f8, king to c1, rook from 2 to d7, Rook takes rook, simplifying into a winning endgame. Rook takes rook, g3, bishop to e7, h5, bishop to c5, rook to e8, 
bishop to b6, white played the move when black resigned, and the move is a4, black resigned, let's play a few more moves, bishop to c7, attacking the rook, rook to f5, check, king to e7, b4, king to d6, bishop to d5, rook to e7, c4, rook to e1, check, king to d2, Rook goes back to e7, c5, check, king to d7, perhaps f4, white has more pawns on both wings, and winning for white is very easy, so we are going to stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.